Hey guys, it's Angie. Hope you're having a great day. I wanted to do um, a quick bump date for you guys since I said I was going to do them weekly from now until the end of my pregnancy, but I kind of thought that in the last two weeks have been kind of status quo, so I didn't really think it was necessary. But that being said, um, as of Monday, I will be 39 weeks pregnant. Uh, today is Saturday, and my husband and I are getting ready to go to a car show here in a little bit. Um, and I just thought, you know what? My makeup's on. Let's just film a quick uh, update for you guys. I am um, 38 weeks, five days as of today. And um, I had I've had a couple baby appointments since the last time I talked about my uh, pregnancy. And Jimmy and I have gone through labor and delivery class together. So that has been uh, very interesting and fun. Some symptoms that I've been having, I have been having a lot of, um, a lot of pelvic pressure, which is very normal. I think I'm having contractions. I don't know for sure though. I've never been pregnant, so I think I'm having contractions. I don't know. I'm like, everything will kind of like, I think I am. I'll be walking my dogs and all of a sudden I'll feel like a whole lot of pressure and I'm like, I think this is a contraction. It's not a contraction in the sense that I need to stop doing what I'm doing. Like what I've heard from real contractions, but you know, it hurts. It's painful. It's not like pleasant. Other things that have happened, my weight is actually down about a pound, a pound and a half. Uh, that does not really surprise me at all because I, um, I just don't have room to eat anything unless it's complete crap, which I mentioned in my last video. So I'm not, I am still getting nutrients. Don't worry guys. I'm still eating huge salads and lots of vegetables and, um, lots of protein. But usually my biggest meal of the day now is definitely lunch and by dinner, I'm still not hungry, and I usually eat something very small then before I go to before I go to bed. So uh, I'm still dr trying to drink a whole lot of water, trying to be as healthy as possible because once baby comes, it is on to lose a whole bunch of weight for my sister's wedding. So awesome goal! I actually found an old picture of myself the other day. Side note. Um, about three years ago, I had tried to bodybuild. It didn't go well because I'm not very good with the eating portion of it, but I was at my lowest weight I'd ever been. I was very, very low, and I was really, really, really toned. And seeing that picture of myself was such a great motivator, if that makes any sense. So I don't need to see some supermodel to be motivated to lose weight. I know I can do this on my own. I know. Um, this is going to be best for me and for the baby and for my health and so I'm not ranting about weight loss but I'm very excited to start my new weight loss journey. It's kind of cool to have like a new goal you know like I've always been kind of status quo in my weight loss and now I'm going to have like a whole new goal and it's going to be I'm excited. As of 38 weeks the baby was as big as a pumpkin and so it was anywhere like I said from 6.2 to 9.2 pounds at my last appointment. My doctor didn't actually check me at all. They actually haven't actually checked me down there in like three weeks, so whatever. Um, my last appointment, I did ask the question that if I go past my due date, which I have a feeling I will be, I just, I don't, I don't see me going into labor before. I said, you know, what's, what happens next? <laughs> I don't want to be two weeks late. I don't want to be, I don't want to be two weeks late. I don't want the baby to get too big and then me not be able to have a, um, a normal, a non-C-section birth, you know, vaginal birth. I don't want that. And she basically did say that they could induce me if I wanted to, but that would of course mean that I would have to be in the hospital for my entire labor, meaning uh, it could be, you know, it could be, you could go in there and be induced and not actually have the baby for three or four days before whatever. So something to think about. Um, my thought process is next Monday, the 31st is my due date. If I don't have the baby by that Thursday, maybe I'll ask to be induced at that point. I am going to have, um, I'm going to ask them to do a sweep this coming Friday at my upcoming appointment and see if that gets things going. We'll see that. So we'll see. She's going to come when she wants to come. We'll see. Unless mama says it's fine. That's, that's basically my motto. Bag is all packed for the hospital as well, as well as mine now is officially packed. Um, if you guys want to see what's in my hospital bag, I can do that, or I can kind of do a wrap up of what I actually used at the hospital. We'll see. It's it's pretty normal stuff, but I do have her hospital bag all packed. This is just a Kate Spade big tote that I've had forever, and that's what I'm using as her diaper bag. Thought it was nice. Thought it was black. Thought it was appropriate. Like Jimmy, my husband won't feel too feminine wearing this. I could see him getting some type of black backpack though, to be honest with you. I have um, diapers in here. And I do have, uh, I think, the outfit that I'm going to bring her home in. I have lots of headbands. Um, 
I have a binky, all that good stuff. And I think I'm going to uh, bring her home in this outfit with this little. This is a this is newborn. I do have some um, three month stuff in my bag just in case she's big. I don't think she's gonna be huge though. I think I don't know. I'm not. I, I just I'm feeling she's gonna be like a seven eight pound baby. So this is the little outfit that I got, and I think we're gonna have these little so cute. So and I'm gonna probably. I keep this on there. I don't know. We'll see. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's that's on my little diaper bag. If you guys want to see what's in there, let me know. But it's pretty it's pretty typical stuff, guys. So but I do really like my diaper bag. I'm not a big fan of all the prints unless it's like Louis Vuitton, um, which sounds totally snobby, but it is what it is. I'm just not a big fan of like Vera bags and all that crap. I'm just not a fan of that. So just not my thing. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys quickly um, what's in her what's in her bag. How I'm feeling. I'm feeling pretty good. If people ask me, you know, for the most part, I feel really good. At the end of the day, I usually feel much, much heavier. Stomach feels heavy. When I'm walking around at work, I'll say, oh, God, my stomach feels really heavy, which there's a good reason for, you know. I got a lot of weight going on here in front of me. I have, I have gained in total 34 pounds, 35 pounds-ish. Um, depends on the day. You know, depends on if, <laughs> it just depends on the day. So totally within healthy range. And even a little bit higher because the healthy range is 25 to 35 pounds. So, you know, not really worried about it. I was really worried about gaining weight whenever I got pregnant. But now that, of course, I'm at the very end of it, don't care. I am still um, wearing my rings, which is shocking to me. Um, it's been, it has been actually really nice here in Pennsylvania for the past five or so days. Last weekend it was brutally hot but it's been really nice and the humidity has been low. So I've been super lucky and it looks like it's gonna be in the low 80s for the next seven or eight days. So let's hope that it stays like that and, and I have a, an easy end to my pregnancy. A lot of people will look at me and say, oh my God, I feel so bad for you. You, you know, you're pregnant in the summer. I don't know any different because I'm, this is my first pregnancy, probably first and only. I should probably mention that too. I don't think I'm gonna have any more kids after this. But, um, I, you know, I just, you know, I don't think it's been that bad. I, I, I haven't had to wear like huge sweaters and find like a huge jacket. I'm sure it would have been, been cozier for me to have those types of things in the middle of the winter. But that being said, I'm kind of glad I wasn't pregnant in the middle of winter because I have a feeling I would have packed on a lot more weight because it's dark by five o'clock and all I would have wanted to do was come home and eat. So I think the summer has actually helped my pregnancy immensely. So, girls, you know, I know I've been bitching about the heat, but if you ever get pregnant and you're going to have a summer baby, don't be too worried about it. There's pros and cons to everything, and I'm just so excited that she's almost here. Uh, labor and delivery class, just to give you guys a little bit of info about that, was really, I was really apprehensive about taking labor and delivery class. I thought to myself, I'm not doing that. That's a waste of time. I'm glad I went. I'm kind of a cynic, so I'm one of those people who's like, whatever, I don't need to do that. It's probably a good idea. It's probably a good idea, especially if you're like me, and this is the first baby in my family, so I don't, I don't I've never held a newborn. Newsflash, that's gonna change soon. So it was really good for my husband and I to go in there and hear from the nurse. The nurse was fantastic. I'm hoping that she is my nurse during my, my actual delivery. I can only, only cross my fingers about that. I don't know if that will happen, but um, it was, it was really good. There was three different classes. Two were about pre-labor, actual labor, and then newborn care. So that was, that was fantastic. And it, it just kind of, it gave me a little bit of anxiety at first, uh, but now um, looking back, I'm really glad we did it because I kind of know what to expect. Kind of, kind of. Um, so yeah, uh, last note on symptoms, because uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place in this video. Um, you know, insomnia is real and I have not been sleeping well. So um, if you're pregnant and you're anything like me, you're not sleeping well. So <laughs> God love you and uh, good luck with everything. Um, I'm hoping to do another video before um, she comes on my bump date. Maybe, maybe not. This is Saturday. Let's, I would kind of, kind of be awesome if she came this week. But like I said, you know, it's, it's, it's all about her. So whatever she wants to do, um, Unless it's like seven days past due date and then she's going to have to come out. Hope you guys are having a great day. If you have any questions on my pregnancy, let me know and I'll be back soon with another video.